everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today I'm gonna to be working with the Painted Wishes Kit by Stampin' Up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this all-inclusive kit works and how by adding just a couple of little pieces of scrap paper and some embellishments, we are gonna make a whole bunch of alternative projects using this fabulous kit. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the Painted Wishes Kit. Now I've already opened this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that inside this kit, there is a little pamphlet here. This is an instruction sheet, and this gives you the instructions so that you will know how to put together these three card designs. These are wonderful um, card designs that are can be used for a birthday, for thank you, and for a friendship. These are really quick and easy to make. Everything that you need to make these cards comes inside the kit, and the instructions on how to put them together is written on the inside of this instruction sheet. You can walk through here and you can see where the adhesive goes. This shows you the, uh, the twine and on the side here, you've got a ruler so that you can measure the twine that you need. And so this sheet will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to put these cards together. Now for today's class, I wanted to move beyond these three cards and I wanted to teach you how you can use the supplies that come in the kit and make some alternative projects. So we are going to be adding, are you ready for this? Just three pieces of paper like this. So this is one and a quarter by four and a quarter of Moody Mauve cardstock. And I chose this because this coordinates beautifully with the colors in this kit. Now I'm gonna show you how to do some embossing. So for that, we're gonna need an embossing machine. So this is my very well-loved stamp and cut and embossing machine. It folds up like this, and when you're ready to use it, you can just open it up like that. I'm gonna take a platform like this that comes with the machine and lay it on the machine like that, and then we are gonna get our embossing folder. Now the first embossing folder that I'm gonna show you is a brand new folder that looks like this. This folder is called layered florals 3d embossing folder i'm going to take this little piece of cardstock that's one and a quarter by four and a quarter and i'm going to place it inside of the folder and i'm just going to line it over whatever design i want impressed on the cardstock now i'm going to take a second piece and i'm going to just lay it in there as well because this uh, cardstock is small we can actually emboss two layers at the same time so when I close the folder, you can kind of see the design that's gonna be impressed on the cardstock. So this looks good, so I'm ready to emboss it. I'm gonna take it with the closed side of the folder. You can see the side is open. So this, this closed side of the folder, and I'm gonna lay that onto the platform. And then I'm gonna take a specialty plate here, this gray plate, and I'm gonna lay that on top. And then I'm gonna to begin to crank the handle and place my other hand on top of the machine to hold it down in place, and I'm gonna run this through the machine. Then when you open up the folder, you will have impressed that beautiful floral pattern on two pieces of cardstock that will be all ready for our alternative projects today. For the next folder, I'm gonna be using this one that's called Softly Sophisticated. So I'm gonna place that in there. Now this is a directional pattern, so I wanna make sure that I have it straight. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time, I will emboss it from the opposite direction. So place it on there evenly and then crank it through. And there you go. And this softly sophisticated embossing folder is one that is currently uh, free as a celebration item with a current special that we have going on right now. All right, so now that these three pieces have been embossed, we are ready to begin working on some alternate projects. Now I know that there are several of you watching this video who are taking this class with me. And so for those of you taking the class, I wanna remind you that these three pieces that I just embossed have already been embossed for you. So when you open up the supplies in your kit, you're gonna have um, everything ready for you to assemble my alternate cards. For everybody else that's watching this video today, I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it was to cut these three little pieces of cardstock and how by just making a few little tweaks, we're gonna be able to make some different card samples using this beautiful kit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with project number one. All right, so for project number one, you're gonna go ahead and take out 
um, these pieces here. This is the envelope that goes with the cards. So we're just gonna put this to the side. And so you're gonna take out this card base and we're gonna go ahead and fold this in half, okay? Now in your kit, you do have double stick tape. And so the double stick tape looks like this, the sticky strip. So you can use this um, by peeling it and cutting it and placing it wherever you see me using glue, you can go ahead and use this. However, for this video, I will be working with this multi-purpose liquid glue. So if you have an alternate glue, um, I'm just doing it because it's a little bit faster than for me to use the tape that comes in the kit. But this is really excellent tape. It's, it's nice and strong. Okay, um, you're also gonna need words. And so you can see that the words for this um, card right here, you'll see that you have these in different languages. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this English version right here that says, I feel so blessed to have a wonderful, kind and amazing friend like you. I really love that sentiment. So if you looked at the original sample, this kit, this layout was intended to be a birthday card, but we're gonna switch it out and we're gonna turn this one into a friendship card. So I'm gonna take this one here that was done with a softly sophisticated embossing folder and we are going to adhere this to the front of the card. So I'm gonna put my glue on the back and if you are working with the sticky strip and you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video and then you can get your sticky strip on there and then peel it and stick that down onto the front of the card. We're just going to make, uh, have that go right across the center. Then in your kit, you will also have some dimensionals. So your dimensionals look like this. So I'm gonna grab my sheet of dimensionals that I have over here. And on the back of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just place four um, dimensionals around the edges. And then you peel off the backing there's a little paper covering. Throw that in the trash. I'm gonna turn this around and I'm going to center this in the middle of the card. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do now is change up the embellishments. So in this kit, you have these beautiful self-adhesive sequins, but I'm gonna use my favorite embellishment um, and you, if you're taking this class along with me, will have some of these in your kit and that is our iridescent jewel rhinestones. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a small rhinestone up here. And then I'm gonna place a large rhinestone right here underneath it. And then a medium rhinestone over here. And then another large rhinestone in a little bit and a smaller one over here to the side. And so there is the five rhinestones, and this is alternate project number one. All right, let's move on to alternate project number two. All right, for project number two, we're gonna, you're gonna take out this um, blue card base, and you're also gonna take out this card here that has the roses on it. Now, um, if you're taking this class with me, again, all of your parts and pieces are all prepped and ready for you, so you'll just take those out of your envelope. But for everyone else, I wanna show you how I just altered this card slightly by cutting a quarter inch off of each side. So when I place this in my paper trimmer, this is a four and three quarter inch piece. We want to crop this down so that it's four and a quarter. So on this side here, I'm gonna just push it over a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna cut it off and then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to line it up now at four and a quarter inches on this side right here. And we'll just cut off a quarter of an inch on that side. So we're just cropping that off. And for another alternate card that we're gonna do as well, we're gonna do this exact same dimension. So taking this rose card and cropping it off a quarter inch on each side. So for this one, I'm gonna fold this card in half. One tool that I like to have handy is a bone folder, and that can help to give this a nice, clean, flat fold. And then for this card, we are gonna turn it like this. So the opening is over here on the right side. I'm gonna take my card here with the roses towards the top of the design. You would then put your sticky strip on the back or I'm going to be using my multi-purpose liquid glue. You can see I have a little note <laughs> I wrote to myself on the back. And then I'm gonna take and flip this around and I'm gonna glue this so that there's just about a, a half an inch or three fourths of an inch at the top with a bigger border at the bottom, okay? And glue that down like that. 
All right, then we're gonna take one of those embossed cardstocks with that beautiful layered floral embossing folder. And I'm going to take and add my adhesive, whatever adhesive you're using to the back of this. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to adhere this so that it covers up this open space right here. And we're gonna just glue that right across the card like so. Okay, now we need a sentiment. So you're gonna go back into your kit here and you're going to look for these circle sentiments like this. And for card number two, we're gonna make a birthday card. So whatever language you wanna um, make this card to be, I'm gonna be using English. So I'm gonna take off the sentiment, wishing the happiest birthday to you, turn it over and then add my dimensionals to the back. And for this one, I'm going to add three dimensionals in a triangle pattern like that. And I'm gonna peel off the backing. And then I'm going to stick this right in the center here. Okay, and then we're going to embellish. So I'm gonna take my rhinestones again. I'm gonna pick a small one and place it right there on the dot of the eye, on this first eye. And then I'm gonna take a large one and place a large one down here. And then another small one and place a small one at an angle right there, okay? And of course, if you like it to be more sparkly, you can add more rhinestones. If you'd rather use the sequence, you could use the sequence and, um, or you could even leave it without embellishments. But I think, I don't know about you, but I love adding sparkle to my cards. So especially for a birthday card, it just makes it really celebratory and fun. And then you, of course, have the coordinating envelope. And this is just beautiful, simple, alternate, um, a simple way to alter this kit by just adding this little strip of cardstock. Okay, so this is project number two. Let's move on to project number three. All right, so for project number three, we are going to take out this color, uh, petal pink card, another one of that, the rose cards, and we're gonna take out this bright, vibrant, lime colored card as well. I'm gonna place the envelope to the side. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take out my trimmer and I'm gonna trim this card the exact same way I just showed you. Again, if you're taking this class with me, this piece has already been trimmed for you, so it'll be all ready for you just to put together. Now, this piece here, I'm gonna do some more embossing. So let me get out my embossing machine and we are going to emboss this. So once again, I'm gonna be using this beautiful layered 3D, layered florals 3D embossing folder. But rather than place this in the machine to put the design on the, the green side of the cardstock, I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna place this in here and I'm going to put the design on the white side of the cardstock. So I'm gonna place it into the machine. This is not directional, so I, it doesn't matter that the paper isn't straight because there's just a beautiful flower pattern all over that uh, this folder. I'm gonna crank it through and try not to shake my camera too much. And you can see how gorgeous this looks on a white piece of cardstock. It's such a pretty folder, I love it so much. So let's get out that card base again. I'm gonna go ahead and fold this. I'm going to use my bone folder. For this one, I want to have it open up like this. So I'm gonna put the opening on the bottom. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is take this piece here and I'm going to glue it down onto the front of the card and kind of center it like that, okay? So we'll put adhesive on the green side. And remember, uh, just take your time if you're working along with me and don't feel rushed and just pause the video as you need to and then restart it when you're ready to do the next step. Okay. So I know many of you taking this class with me today, um, this might be new for you. And so I just want you to have a really relaxing and enjoyable experience. And, um, and also you may wanna just watch the video and then you can take some of the ideas and use them as inspiration and then create the cards whatever way you feel moved to do so. So I love letting people go and be creative and put your projects together however you want to do it. So you got a lot of great supplies to work with. Okay, so now we have this piece here. Now I do wanna add dimensionals and we're gonna cover that up 
um, and just really only the edges is going to have the texture. But I just I just wanted to emboss it so that you could just see how pretty that was because this would be a great piece that you could use on another card as well. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to add some dimensionals on the back in the corners and I'll place one in the center as well. And then I'm going to remove the backing. And then I'm going to center this so that now the roses this time are going to be on the bottom. Okay, and then we'll go back into the kit. And this time we're going to get out the sentiment that we haven't used yet, which is one that looks like this. Okay, so you're going to get this top one right here that says thank you for your kindness. You will then put your sticky strip or your, um, I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue right on there like that. I'm not going to put it on the edges. I'm just going to put it in the center. And then this is going to go across that area where there's that little opening. And I'm just going to do that straight across. Let me line it. I like working with the um, liquid glue because you have a little wiggle room to make sure that you have it straight. If you're working with the sticky strip tape, make sure that you line it up carefully and before you stick it down because it is hard to remove it once it's stuck down you might tear your cardstock so um, that's another reason why i prefer to use the liquid glue um, and also because i'm videoing it's kind of an, a weird angle on this strip i have large medium and small so i'm going to use one of each for this card so i'm going to pick up a large one and put it right down here and then i'm going to pick up a small one and put it at an angle and then i'm going to pick up a medium one and put it over here kind of like in a triangle pattern. And this completes our next alternate project. Okay, so this is number three. All right, I've got two more cards to show you. So for the next card, you're going to go into your kit and you are going to pull out the pieces that look like this. So another base like this one. And then this is the new one. I think we haven't used this one yet. Okay, take your pretty envelope and put that to the side. Now for this one, it's going to be folded like this. I'm going to use my bone folder. Okay, and then this card right here is going to get glued on the top. But before we do that, let's get the other pieces that we're going to need. You're going to need that final embossed piece. And then you're also going to need another one of these sentiments that look like this. But thank you for your kindness. So we are making a thank you card. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this out. Now let's just say that you would rather make a, a birthday card um, and you have some stamps at home, then take one of your stamps and flip this upside down and you can use this as a banner and you can stamp your own sentiment on here. So, um, I mean, it would be really hard to cover up this beautiful foiled um, sentiment, but hey, if you need a card for a different occasion, then use the back pieces of these pre-made pieces and you can make it your own. So that's just another tip. Okay, so this is all we need for this card here. I'm going to take and place adhesive on the back. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this over so that this blue leaf is up in the top right corner. And I'm going to center this on the card. Okay, press it down. Okay, and then I'm going to take and place some dimensionals on the back of this. So we'll put four dimensionals on the ends. And actually, I'm going to throw one in the middle as well. So we'll do five dimensionals. Peel the backing. And then I'm going to center this onto the front of the card. Okay, so for the sentiment, I'm going to take and flip this over. I'm going to add adhesive to the center portion here and I'm going to glue that across that embossed strip. I'm going to take a look at it to make sure that it's straight. Then I'm going to take and place a large rhinestone here, a small rhinestone at an angle, and a medium rhinestone over here. So the same exact way that I did the last card. and. There you go, you have a thank you card.
All right, now the final card is my favorite and we're gonna actually use two card bases to complete this one. Okay, so for this next card, we're gonna take two card bases out. And so we're going to use this rose card base and then this solid uh, blue card base, okay? Then we're gonna use a green piece, which you know what, I am gonna emboss this with the floral embossing folder, but this time I'm gonna embo emboss it with the green side up and then I'm going to be using this card as well. So there, this is double the card supplies because we're gonna make a fun fold card with this. Now for the sentiment on this card, we're gonna use two. So go back into your kit and you're going to get out the birthday one here. And then I want you to take out this sheet that has that kindness, friendship sentiment written in three different languages. Just choose one that you, that you don't speak that language and we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it upside down and use the back side. Okay, for now I'm gonna put these to the side and let me quickly emboss my cardstock. Okay, so now my cardstock has been embossed. Again, a reminder, if you're taking this class with me, then this piece has already been prepped for you. And if not, um, emboss it with whatever folder that you want. If you don't have this brand new layered um, floral one, then you can emboss it with another pretty one that you think coordinates well with these supplies. Okay, so let's do the front of the card first. So I'm gonna just take this rose color here and then we're gonna take that birthday sentiment. We're gonna flip this around and we're gonna add three dimensionals to the back. Take off the backing and I'm going to place this right next to this rose towards the top um, left, a little bit off center. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to use some uh, rhinestones. And then um, I have this tool, this is called a take your pick tool. So it has this little putty right here. So if any of you have trouble picking up the um, rhinestones um, with your fingernail, you could use like the tip of a scissors, or if you have this take your pick tool, this works really great too. So you just kind of slide it, it'll pick it up with that putty, and then we're gonna just stick it right onto the card like that. So there's a large one, and then I'm gonna pick up a small one and kind of angle it right there. And then I'm gonna take a medium sized one here, and I'm gonna place that over here. Okay. All right, so for now, this is the front of the card, okay? Kept it really simple because now we are gonna do the inside of the card. So we're gonna just move this to the side and then I want you to take out this card here. Now this time what we're gonna do is we are going to turn this card so that it's going to open backwards like this. So then on the front of this, with the opening to the left side, we're gonna take this card here. I have the blue leaves in the top left corner and we're gonna just place our adhesive on the back. And glue this card down. We're gonna go back into your kit and I did have you pull one from a different language, but we also are going to pull this sentiment, um, the same sentiment, but the, the kindness friendship sentiment. We are gonna use this because this sentiment can partner really well with a birthday card as well. So we're gonna take this sentiment, turn it over, and then we're going to just place it on this card, okay? And we aren't gonna add any um, embellishments to this one. I, I suppose if you wanted to put a couple sequins, you could, but that's because we are now gonna put these two cards together and make them into one card, a fun fold card. So I'm gonna turn this over and on the back side of the card, I'm gonna place adhesive. And then I'm going to insert this like so. So now our card will look like this. You'll have the birthday sentiment here. You'll open it up. You'll have a, a nice friendship saying here and then you'll open it up and now. Just to take it one step further, because I also wanted to use the parts and pieces that came in this kit, we're gonna take this side that has been embossed, we're gonna add adhesive to the back of it, 
Now we are gonna add this pretty green focal point to the center of the inside of a card. And now we need a place for to write a message. And so we're gonna use this um, die cut piece, the sentiment piece that's written in a different language. We're gonna put um, glue on the front side of it and we're gonna reverse it. And then we're gonna center that right there. So now we have a piece of cardstock that creates a focal point where we can write a message on the inside of this card. So this card folds up like this and then like this. And then of course, like all the other cards, you're gonna place it in this pretty envelope. All right, so that completes the, the final project. Let's take one final look at all the projects. All right, well, that completes the alternate projects that I wanted to teach you today. But I wanna remind you that this beautiful kit has still more supplies in it. And it has all the supplies that you will need to make these three cards here by following the instructions that come on the instruction sheet in the kit. Um, you can see that you, these are a little bit different because they have this gold twine and then they also use sequins instead of the iridescent rhinestones. But they're just really, really beautiful floral cards. And then the good news is you still have more parts and pieces in this kit to play with. So you can see there's still three more card bases in here and then you still have um, pieces like this, you have a piece like this, and then there's even more sentiment pieces to work with as well. So you have a lot of supplies that you can take this kit and move beyond even the projects that I've taught you in this class today. So I love our stamping up kits because they're so easy to work with. And this is a non-stamping kit. So it's a paper crafting kit. So you didn't even have to get any ink on your fingers to put these cards together. But of course we have a whole fabulous line of kits. Some that have ink, some that are just paper crafting, some that do cards, some that do home decor and party favors and so much more. So if you have any questions about any of our Stampin' Up! kits or any of our Stampin' Up! products, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Or you can go also and check out my website at stampedwithaloha.com or follow me on Instagram where I post projects daily at Stamped with Aloha. It was so much fun sharing this class with you. I hope that you enjoyed this time that we spent together. If you have any questions about the projects that I shared with you today, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I would love to help you in any way that I can. So thank you again for taking this class or for just watching this video today. I had a lot of fun sharing this time with you and I hope you'll come back so that we can do it again. Until next time, aloha.